If you need to blur parts of your YouTube video, there's no need to worry. You can do this directly in the YouTube video editor without having to delete your video, allowing you to keep your views, likes, and comments. Hey YouTube, it's Lucas here from Snappa, and today I'm going to show you how to blur faces and logos in a YouTube video that has already been uploaded. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is sign into YouTube and head into YouTube Studio. In the menu on the left, click Content, and a list of your uploaded videos will pop up. Find the video that you want to blur, and click the pen icon that says Details. On this page, you can click Editor in the left column, and this will bring you to the YouTube Editor. There are a bunch of different tools to work with here, but today we're going to focus on the Blur tool. So here I have a video of a woman dancing on the street. If I drag the needle across the timeline, I can find the starting point for where her face first appears in the video. Now let's say I want to blur her face. I can click the Blur button at the top, and a drop-down menu will appear. For the best results, I recommend always using Custom Blur. It's much more precise and effective compared to YouTube's automatic face blur. After I select Custom Blur, I'm going to click Oval as the blur shape and adjust the size and position of the blur to cover the face of the subject. You can click, drag, and adjust the blue points to resize and rearrange the blur. For the blur behavior settings, I'm going to leave it on Track Object because the woman is moving, and the blur will automatically track her face as she moves in the video. But if I were just blurring a stationary object, I could select Fix Blur Position, and the blur would stay in one place. Now that we've applied the blur, we want to adjust it on our timeline to make sure that the timing is perfect. This blue rectangle represents the start and stop time of the blur effect. I can drag the endpoints to make sure that the blur comes in at the right time and ends at the right time. Now, if I click the play button, I can preview the blur effect and make any necessary adjustments. If there's a certain part of the video where the blur doesn't fully cover the face, I can pause the playback and simply drag and reposition the blur on that frame, and it will automatically adjust. Feel free to use the needle on the timeline to find specific frames in your video that need adjusting. I'm going to play the video back one last time just to make sure that everything looks good. Keep in mind that the blur will smoothen out once it's saved and processed. Now that everything looks pretty good, I can click Save in the top right corner, and a note will pop up letting me know that it might take a few hours for the changes to apply. And then I can click Save again. Once it's done processing, I can check out my newly blurred video. Now that we're finished with that example, let's head back into our uploaded videos and work on another one. In this video here, I have a logo that I want to blur. So I'm going to click Details, and then Select Editor in the left column. Here's the logo that I want to blur. If I drag across the timeline, you can see that the logo is visible throughout the whole video. So I'm going to click Blur, then Custom Blur, and I'm going to keep the blur shape as a rectangle. I'm also going to change the blur behavior to Fix Blur Position, since the logo is stationary throughout the clip. Now, I can drag the blur to reposition it, and I'm going to adjust the blue points to change the size of the blur and cover the logo. Also, since I want the blur effect active throughout the whole video, I'm going to drag the blue rectangle above the timeline all the way to the end. Now I'm going to click the play button to watch it back and make sure that the logo is fully covered. Once everything looks good, I can click save in the top right corner, and then click save again and after it's done processing, I can check out my newly blurred video. Alright, so now you know how easy it is to blur parts of an uploaded YouTube video. But let's say down the road you decide that you don't want the blur effect in your video anymore. In order to remove it, you have to go back into the YouTube editor, click the three dots in the top right corner, and select Revert to Original. This will remove any changes you made to your video in the YouTube editor, and revert it back to your original upload. Well, that's all for today's video. If you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.